Hey everybody and welcome to Northern Lion Tries Yes Your Grace, which is starting with a rollicking balalaika infused title track that I can't understand a word of, to be honest. But here we are. This is came out today. Videos coming out the next day, the next morning. It is a kingdom management game from the publisher No More Robots, who you may know for Descenders, uh, among other stuff. And I did receive a code from them. Consider it disclosed, an open and shut case. 20 bucks. 10% off for its opening week sale, and as usual, I'm going in sight on scene. Let's see what the heck's going on in Yes, Your Grace. It's a game of tough choices. It will be impossible to satisfy the needs of every petitioner. Sometimes your subjects will have spiteful intentions, and sometimes life will get in the way. If you simply have enough resources at the end of each week, that's good enough. Ooh, I like that note. What's up with that? Wish I could hear what she's playing. She's off the map. Click on the petitioner to call them forward. Audrey, welcome. It is time, Your Grace. Click on the throne to step down. I had better put on the crown. Done. Mission accomplished. You can find your inventory in the lower left corner. Crown of Davern. Place on head. Wear it. First mission accomplished. You can leave any room by walking to the edge of the screen or by selecting the doors. This is a map of your castle. Click on the castle wall to go there. Your Grace. A deserter. Found one of ours hiding in a shed. Shed. Why would you do this, Sobe? There's too many of them. We have no chance of winning. If you let him off, the rest may follow. However, our army is sparse as it is. We need every set of hands able to hold a sword, Your Grace. Even the least brave soldiers are essential now, or there's no place for cowards under my banner. Even the least brave soldiers are essential now. With courage, we will defeat the enemy no matter the odds. Let him loose, General. Go and stand for Davern. It's probably Davern, but I kind of like the land of Dave. Thank you, Your Grace. Over here, Your Grace. Uh, here's the thing. I'm the king, so you don't really get to tell me what to do or whatever, but I suppose that for the tutorial, I'll make an exception. Sons of Davern. My brothers, we stood together through the worst of times. We have proved our strength in many battles, and today we will prove it again. My bravest men, I bid you to fight for all you hold dear. For Davern! They loved it. Huge combat buff. Accuracy plus 15%. Yes, your grace. As you wish. One year earlier. So it seems, so far it seems a little bit like maybe Reigns. You know the game where you'd swipe right or swipe left on decisions in order to balance resources in a simulated abstracted kingdom. Right now I'm kind of getting the vibe, it seems like that wrapped in another metagame type shell around it. Three, two, one, let's jam. Okay, here I come. Oh, you know I'm not playing with you, darling. The sun finally came out, let me enjoy it. Lor Sulia, you found me, well done, father. <laughs> She's not very good at hide and seek, huh? Come on, Lorsulia. It's not often we can do this. I told you I don't want to play. Aren't you too old for this? Lorsulia! That's no way to speak to your father. Lorsulia's a stick in the mud. Shut it, Azalea. We can see you from miles away. Well, that's pretty rich coming from you. Got you. Shouldn't have insulted your sister from across the gardens. She always has to ruin everything. She's so proud. She couldn't even find a place to hide. I wasn't even trying to hide. I don't even want to play. Next time you don't want to play, maybe try writing a formal announcement. Oh wait, you can't write. Oh, oh, that ain't Falco. Got her. Let me enjoy the sun, Eric. Lorsuli is such a dumpling. And here's the little one. No, I was doing so well. You must have cheated or peaked. I demand another trial of the game. How official, huh? Maybe next time, said Donny. Forgive me, Your Grace. Look, it's Audrey, everybody. I hate to interrupt, but your subjects will arrive soon. All right, enough games. The throne awaits. Grevno, week one. 
The petitioners will start queuing in a moment, Your Grace. We really need to shorten the visiting hours. Okay, we got gold, grain, I'm assuming, soldiers, leisure or happiness, maybe. Can you go and speak to Lord Sulia, my dear? I tried talking to her, but she just won't respond. I don't know what's got into her recently. Maybe she'll open up a bit more to you. She's probably wandering about at the wall. Of course, my sweetest. Okay, but don't forget. Dungeon guard, your grace. I bring bad news. The recent rains have soaked through our roofs. The pantry roof has collapsed, as well as some walls of our dungeon. Only one cell is currently functional. We should really fix those things before they get worse, otherwise we'll keep losing supplies. You will see the required fixes in your weekly summary at the end of the week. Okay. When you meet people and talk to petitioners, petitioners, your advisor makes a note in the archives. Okay. Fair enough. Peasants, hello. Your grace, my daughter's wedding is at hand. Congratulations. The problem is... We don't have enough gold or supplies to make a worthy feast. What will my daughter-in-laws think of our family? We want to hire a band to buy some of the fancy wine on the market. We would need only five gold and five supplies. Uh, you have my blessing, but I won't help. Look, I'm a man of the people. Without a doubt. You don't just get to be like, Hey, kingdom, pay for my wedding. We got other priorities here. We're trying to keep everybody safe, keep everybody well fed. Your wedding is your own personal business. I will not help you. The kingdom has more important matters at hand. Wish your daughter the best for me. You skimp us a little gold? Shouldn't the king support his people in the hard times? I can't feed my guests with the king's blessing. Okay. Not really my fault. You didn't ask for enough food to eat. You asked for enough to throw a feast. We'd have to take it out of somebody else's belly. Your Grace, I come here representing my village. We want to ask you for seven gold to help us gather tools and resources required to build an inn. We could really use a new place to rest after a long day of work. Sure. That's an investment in the hospitality and tourism industry. There you go. Seven gold. Plus one happiness. Oh, we surely will. Thank you, Your Grace. Peasants. Monsters. Beasts dressed in black, they came in the night, unseen, unheard, until they arrived. Has this ever happened to you? They attacked the village. We heard the dreadful screams of the slain. Your Grace, I beg you, you must send your men. Check what happened. Find those responsible. Tell me more. Who are they? Bright red heads, short but sharp fangs. They pull your hair up but not out. Gleaming metal for their claws. We've never seen anything like this. Tell me more. Oh, that's all you got. Okay. My agents will check the village. Oh, general scent. Click on the glowing flower to advance to the next week once you're ready. I don't wish to do this because I wish to leave. If possible. I would like to speak to my daughter. But you tell me to do it? Yeah, I better. That's what I'm saying. I better talk to Laura Sulia. May I leave, please? This is the one thing where I was like, just click on the door and you'll be fine. Oh, you gotta step down. And I was like, I should have paid more attention. Anyway. We've managed to make it happen. She should be at the wall. I do not see her. Oh, she's probably up looking at the mountains. Yeah. The pixel art is just gorgeous in this game. Oh, it's you. You need to stop fighting with your sister. Or goodbye. Oh, it's you. Goodbye. You want to talk about what happened in the gardens? No. I'm fine, father. I can see something's wrong. Why won't you talk to me? Everything's fine, dad. Don't you have things to do? Why didn't you want to play with us? You used to find the best spots, remember? Maybe I'm not five anymore? So Azalea's been pretty nasty lately. Yeah. See you later. She just wants to be alone. You can lead a horse to water, you can't make it drink. Alright, we'll move on to our next week. I, well, I, I mean, we could, uh... The gate looks very old. Yeah, no kidding. I didn't really want to talk about the door. I wanted to head back inside of the castle, really. Um, but we can move on to the next week, that's fine. This is your weekly summary screen. Here you will be able to see your kingdom's weekly expenses and income. 
You can buy upgrades and fixes for the castle in the left section. To buy an upgrade, simply click the button with the upgrade name and you'll see the cost added to the summary. Um, we will fix the pantry roof. This leaves us with 13 gold. We could spend 15 grain to fix the market stall. Or we could repair the theater. We're doing okay on happiness, contentment. Do we want to spend a lot of grain? To get more gold? I think we should. You should always do that earlier, right? New market stalls, fixed market stalls. Fixed pantry roof, stan general. I don't know what that means. We stan a king. We have no choice but to stan. To stan. We have no choice but to stan. Your grace, no sign of the monsters. Generals returned. We did stumble upon these bandits, though. They were pillaging the village. A crest of Ritovia. I thought you could only find them in books and old manuscripts. Well, it seems like we have one right here, too. Tell me. Why are you here? What were you and your men doing near the village? We're just making a living. One might call it plunder. I would call it hard work. Who's your leader? We're a free people. We don't bow to kings or lords. Bold words for someone trespassing in another country. Bold and stupid. Whose banner are you bearing? Your man is right. Redovia is my home. And soon yours too. Ha! Your grace, we can't allow barbarians to stock our lands. Plundering and killing innocent men. There is no question that justice needs to be dealt to this one. Agreed. Execute him. No Redovian scum will threaten the crown. Behead him. My brothers will hear about this. Well, I don't know how, unless you're speaking to them from beyond the grave. But, you know, I'll take your word for it. Lord Solia, I bring news, father. Azalea sneaked out at night last week. I ran into her chamber while she was going back. I ran into her while she was going back to her chamber, all laughing and a little tipsy, I think. She wouldn't say where she'd been, but Sedani, as thick as she is, spilled everything to me in the morning. Those two chit-chat all the time. They think I don't realize. Thick, don't speak ill of your sister. What's got into you, Lord Solia? Azalea sneaks out to some wedding, gets all drunk, but I'm the bad one all of a sudden? Audrey, did you know anything about this? No, your grace! I'd better talk to Azalea, Azalea about this. You girls are going to drive me mad one day. Audrey, what's on your mind? You got an exclamation mark. Radovian's here? How would they get through the mountains? Why would they threaten a war? That's a lot of questions, but I need answers, Audrey. Forgive me, Your Grace, I'm just puzzled. It might be reasonable to start thinking about renewing some old treaties, talk to old friends, and see who can give us a hand. With our current resources, a war would bring certain defeat. I will make some preparations. All right, see you later. Your Grace, my dear son is nowhere to be found. Yes, a really daft little boy, but still, he is my son. I ask you to help us find him, Your Grace. Is there a chance you could do so? Yes. Our general will try to find your son. He will ask around and see if he can track your son down. I hope he's still in one piece. You have my thanks, your grace. Lord Elton. My name is Etten. I'm the Lord of Branca, your grace. It's not amazing. It's, he's trying to get one over on me. It's not a real place. I will be as straightforward as possible. Someone has kidnapped my daughter, and they expect me to pay 12 gold to get her back. The thing is, I tracked them down and I know where they're keeping her. I've planned everything out, I just need your general to help me take her back. Or I could just pay the ransom. Either way, I need your help, your grace. I have no general. I'm sorry. I, I'm telling you straight up, I'm going to give you the gold. It's a lot of gold, I'll admit. But this is what the embassy does for its people. And we have gold to spend. You can have the gold. It's better to play it safe. Let's not give them a reason to harm your daughter. Yes, her safety is the most important thing. Thank you, your grace. Plus, she's going to pay way more than 12 gold in lifetime taxes and teeths. Guaranteed. That's just a good business decision. I'll let you know how it goes. Pietro. Your grace, I fear for my life. I think someone is trying to get me. What's going on? I think, I think someone is following me. They want me dead. Who's they? I don't know. How would I know? I haven't done anything, right? I better be going. All right, if you insist, I suppose. We got a lot of family business to tackle today. 
Perhaps we can go to the bed chambers. Speak to Cat Stark, darling. Foreign barbarians visited us this week. Redolvians, that can't be right. Do you think it's about our, your, our, your promise? It might be, what do you think? 13 years ago, we promised our unborn child's hand to a thug. Bayron, wasn't it? After 13 years, a Redolvian shows up at your castle? Yes, Lursulia will soon become a woman and will need to find a husband. And Bayron, the villain, will arrive to make me fulfill my promise. What now? If Bayron ever shows up to claim our daughter's hand, hopefully no one will believe him. We just need to play stupid, unless he shows up with an army. Don't be silly now, how could a commoner afford an army? Even we can't. <laughs> How could Redovians get to Davern? Everything seems... Every, can't read it, I'm sorry. Anything seems possible at this stage. You did send the bandit to the dungeons. Ooh. You should have questioned him first. One less barbarian to worry about, though. How are you holding up? I don't know. We can't do this. Etc, etc. I'll see you later, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. Killer Arden here. I love the, the stork. Um... Let's go see what's going on at the wall. Or the garden, I should say. Iggy Azalea, what's up? There was a wedding in the village. Just outside of our walls. What say you to that, Azalea? It wasn't bad. But I've heard it could have been better if my father was a bit less stingy. Lorsulia told me everything. Ah! What a turd! Why would she blab about it like that? How would she know anyway? Oh, of course, Sedani. Sedani. I'm not worried about it. I mean, she's a teenage girl, maybe sneaking out and getting a little drunk at a wedding. It's not behavior I can sanction, but I can't really describe it as abnormal. So I'm going to hit her with a you're too careless. I'm not mad. I'm just worried about you. You can come to me and talk to me with this stuff. Sneaking out at night. Insulting your sister? What's next? I don't know. Murder, maybe? Enough of your jokes, Azalea. Do you know what's out there? What could have happened if someone found a princess by herself in a village? Nothing happened, father. I was... Dressed differently. I was careful. I'm not stupid. I know what I'm doing. All I wanted was a little fun. Okay, okay. Since she turned 13, she thinks you will make her marry some fat, dumb prince and send her off to another castle. Yikes! Alright. She's confined to the castle. What, what do we hit her with? No more visits to the market. Princesses be shopping. Stop with the names. Yeah, stop with the name calling, lady. I gotta talk to Lord Sulia too? It's... A kingdom is... A, it seems like a, the description of a 1990s movie. Managing a kingdom is one thing. But managing a family... Building a castle. Starring Ted Danson, Gary Shandling, and Helen Hunt. Azalea told me what's going on. I think your mother and I had started to figure it out anyway, because we're very smart. I'm sorry we didn't realize earlier. Oh, why is that? You're a grown-up woman now. Soon, lords and knights will line up to ask for your hand. You know I will have to choose someone, but we can wait. I promise we won't move forward if you're not ready. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. Alright, so let's be honest. Our resources are in a bad spot. We just need a lot of gold. We just need gold. We got so... We got 13 and lost 9. So we're not really gaining that much gold weekly. What the heck is... Stan General, though. This is like upkeep, I'm assuming. Or is this what we spent on our courtiers? I don't know. I guess they're not courtiers. They're subjects, petitioners. But Grevno, week three. One petitioner? Oh, that's what I was thinking here. Banker. I'm representing the Banque de Florentini, your grace. I hear that your treasury has seen better times, but I'm here to help. How does this work? We understand that sometimes it's hard to be a king and we want to do our best to help. We offer quick and easy solutions to give you a surge of gold or supplies. Our exclusive package offers 50 gold instantly available for your use. 
The bank only adds a small fee of 10 gold or supplies depending on the type of loan. It's paid off in weekly amounts of 10 until you pay it off your pay off your debt, your grace. We won't charge you any additional costs. One last thing, we only do one type of loan at a time, so if you want to borrow gold, we can't lend you supplies until the first loan is repaid and vice versa. And remember, the first loan is free of charge. Okay. I mean, I don't want to go into debt. On the other hand, uh, paying back... An, I mean, taking an interest-free loan, it's easy money. I want to borrow gold. I'll take it. No interest? This guy is a horrible banker. Goodbye, sir. Peasant. Your grace, injustice and hunger have struck our village. Men dressed in black came and took our stock. Hardly anything left worth giving to the dogs now. I wanted to kindly ask for seven pieces of gold or five sacks of supplies, your grace. That way we can at least keep our children fed. You may have five supplies. Seems like we haven't had as many opportunities to spend supplies. There you go. Great work. Merchants. I come with a business proposition, your grace. I need 12 gold to hire men and buy resources to build a new tavern in Branca. You see, the tavern will serve as more than just a way for the locals to get drunk. Its village is well positioned, it has many visitors, but they never stay for long. A new tavern will change that and guarantee a steady income. I will share the profits once I start making money on the business. You need 12 gold. I mean, I, I, he came to me with a fully featured pitch deck and a business strategy. He's done market research. Honestly, this income stream could be really good for the kingdom and could also perhaps offset the interest that we're going to be paying on future loans. There you go. Take the gold and let the business grow. You won't regret it, your grace. I'll get right on with the work. Peasants. Your grace, a disease is crawling in our village. It's nothing serious, I don't think, but the fevers and sneezes are all over the place. It, it appeared out of nowhere, as if a dark force brought it upon us. You know what? Big supplies. Take a big supply there. Thank you, your grace. We are beyond content. I hope the spirits will keep you well. I should see what the pigeon has brought. Dear Eric, we have crossed the mountains. We will come for what has been promised. For the gods have graced us with their strength, Bayron, the king of Radovia. So they do have a king after all. And where there's a king, an army follows. What promise are they babbling about anyway? Might as well be honest. I didn't think I'd have to keep my word. We can't let those barbarians seize the throne. Our treasury is low, but we can always seek allies. I will let you get on with the audits, and I'll make some preparations in the meantime. I will be in the council chamber, your grace. Well, we could just talk about it right here if you wanted to. If you'll excuse me, we'll go see the council chamber. The hand of the king. Sidani, get out of here. This is this is real adult business. Hello, potato head. No! I have a normal head. Your grace. You shouldn't be playing here. Go and play in the gardens. She can't hear. She might be a spy, dude. She can't stay. Your grace, I appointed a scout. He will let us know what we're up against. Meanwhile, we should invite King Talus. He might be able to help. Click on the Allies tab to view your potential allies. King Talus. Okay. Here you can view details of each of your potential allies. You need to have a pigeon available in order to send an invite. I mean, my man's got 3,000 troops. Should see you soon. All right, let's play one more week just to see how this shakes out. I want to see what Talus is up to. So we lost 10 to the bank. 9 in general upkeep. Made a little bit in taxes. Doing well. Grain is like, it's free resources. I'm also hoping our business loan will pay us some dividends this week. We'll see. This seems really cool. Like, I'll level with you if we have a second to talk here. Um, I... Like Reigns, I think Reigns is a really good minimalistic game. If you haven't played it, I think you should really give it a shot, especially considering it's like, on Steam, it's like three bucks. But, I've always thought, and I've said this in a couple of videos, the mechanics of Reigns are great. It would also be cool to see it expanded into a more robust format, which honestly seems like one-to-one -one is what's happening here. So, honestly, I like it. Your Grace, I have found the son of the peasant. Let's go. 
He was lost in a nearby forest looking for home. He was weakened and thirsty, but should be back to full strength soon enough. Great job, General. King Talus! Hardly any light can get through these windows. These halls used to shine, Eric. Father! Look what she did! Azalea's put feces under my pillow! How can I ever wash it off? Why did you tell her I told on you? Or I told on her. Not now, Lorsolia. I'm busy. You never have time! That's not true. I have a lot of time. There's like an hour where I have to talk to the other king. You could have brought this up then. Just saying. We'll deal with that later. Scuttle off for now. If you can't even control your children, then I'm surprised you still sit where you do. I... What are you talking about, Talus? I sent her away! Forgive me, we have had a lot of going-ons recently. I'm asking if you're gonna make me stand like a commoner here. Oh, of course, let's talk in the council room. You have a lot of books. What can be so important that you couldn't just send me a pigeon? I'll be straightforward with this. I need an army. Rodovia has threatened me and my family. They're simple men, untrained. Tell you what, I will give you 3,000 soldiers. My army can deal with anything they throw its way. Just like that? Of course not, you see? My son, Ivo, had been crying and moaning about finding him a princess. He's always bothering me. It's about time he grew up. A wife would keep him busy, out of my way. Lorsulia would be good enough for him. She could teach him a thing or two. I also want access to the fine collection of books you have here, plus anything else you can find. You still seek cures for your wife? Her condition hasn't improved? Well, that doesn't concern you. You get an army, I get Lorsolia and access to these books. So an army for a marriage in return. That's tough. That's tough. Especially because I apparently can't say no. <laughs> On the one hand, this is how alliances were made in the medieval era. We're playing the medieval game. On the other hand, really does feel counter to modern sensibilities to tell my daughter who to marry. You're forcing me into a tough moral position. We'll do it on my terms. I can't let you take my daughter for a few hundred men. But, a few hundred men and 22 extra gold? To cover the cost of the wedding and our renovations? That's not a problem. I will send an army straight away. That's the art of the deal, baby! I want immediately immediate access to the archives. The marriage can be organized later. Let me guess, he's a bad guy. Let me get lost in your books. You have made yourself a new ally. Sure, make yourself at home, dude. I will sit in the chair, please, and then... Lord Eden, hello again. My daughter's back. I have paid the thugs the ransom. I was nervous, but it went smoothly. They got what they wanted. I don't think there'll be a problem anymore. As a thank you, I scraped together some gold. Here, take this. Look at that. He, he gave us more gold than the ransom. Could have skipped the whole... Could have skipped the middleman. Could have skipped me. I'm the middleman. Anyway. This is a Yes, Your Grace. It came out yesterday. I definitely get it. Again, the, the rain's influence it wears on his sleeve. I like that. Um, but with a more... Like, Reigns is like all essentially like improvisational, emergent gameplay and narrative. This, it seems, has a, a story thread going through it as well. Um, and it's not just like about setting a high score. It's about, you know, navigating the whims and the, the tides and the ebbs and flows of a kingdom without you know, creating a situation of such important consequence that you let it all slip away. It seems really cool. 20 bucks. Just came out on Steam. If you enjoyed watching the video, why don't you go check out the game? It's linked in the video description below. Let me retry that. Let me retry that. Take two. <clears throat> if you enjoyed the video, why don't you check out the game on Steam? It's linked in the video description below. And of course, Best way to support the video if you liked it, click the like button. That's what it's there for. Helps me out a great deal. And if you haven't subscribed yet, just click that subscribe button. Best way to support the channel is to do that. We're hitting all sorts of milestones in 2020. I'm happy to have you along. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. See ya!